Morning, welcome to week four, day one. Official weigh-in, 172 pound. Started on 165 pound, yes I know. Great cut series. Current condition, just woken up. Lean, I would say, lean. But not where I should be for the uh, amount of calories I've dropped during it, this little series. So, plan moving forward. Today we're starting on 1800 calories, which makes me, frankly, uncomfortable just thinking about it. I'm gonna have to really, really focus on reeling it in now. Uh, 15,000 steps per day, same as I was doing last week, mainly because Getting any more and I think it'll be tough, but if I can, I'll go for it, but I don't want it to cut into my time. Too much more, because 15,000 is enough. I think this week is gonna be cardio. I'm gonna to have to bite the bullet, do some form of cardio. Anyway, this week I feel we're gonna get some weight loss. However, with that said, I'm also feeling a little bit exhausted all the time. I did that in week three, that intra workout feed with fruit and I felt really good, I wasn't dizzy when I was moving around, but day after day after that, getting up and down, dizzy again, so maybe my, my carbs for example were under 200 grams for a couple of days running, so maybe a refeed. It's in order this week, we'll see how it goes, we'll see how I feel, and that's it, today, clients as usual training as usual and just less calories so I can try and look a bit more lean come on come on let's go okay so breakfast we started to make little incremental changes to try and claw back the 200 calories I'll be dropping this week uh, so just 40 grams instead of 50 brown flakes 100 mils of milk instead of 150 Protein's not going to change. Still got me low fat cheese pouches. Yes, these are cheese. People think they're yogurt. Well, it kind of is. It's low fat soft cheese mixed with low fat yogurt. I don't like cheese, but I like these. Make it out what you will. And the morning dose of Monster. It's half five in the morning, a bit early. But uh, I just don't fancy a coffee. Could make an iced coffee. But, mm, should I? No? Mm. No, I want a Monster. Um, and that's it, I'm gonna try and just take off 10 grams of stuff here and there to try and claw back those 200 calories I've dropped this week. And if I don't get shreds by the end of next week, oh, I'm gonna say me and, me and the creatine are gonna have words. As I forgot, I need to take my daily five grams. So yeah, that's it. I will see you after breakfast at some point, isn't it? I can't even think straight this early in the morning. Welcome to lunchtime. Today I'm going to do more chefing. I'm going to whip up a pizza, but I'm using a tortilla wrap as the base just because I'm not making a dummy base and obviously this is probably a bit more low calorie although 181 calories for that I, I don't feel that's justified why is there not a lower calorie wrap right there might be I'm just unaware of it obviously majority of you out there know how a pizza works I'm gonna slap some tomato puree on there how am I gonna weigh it I'm gonna put this on the scales puree it up and then weigh that again. Simple, isn't it? But some of you out there are still not getting it. It's very simple. I need a knife. Next up, 50% less fat cheddar. I actually despise cheese with every molecule of my body. I hate it. Uh, but you see me eating cheeseburgers and you see me eating pizza. Uh, if you're one of them weirdos that has a cheese balled after dinner, we ain't friends. I'm not I'm not eating with you. Um, equally, people that just get blocks of cheese and, and cut a... Um, doesn't want me to get into this cheese. Next up, I'm going to go for some spicy pepperoni. 
Then because one meat sauce is not enough, I'm gonna go for some piri piri ready cooked chicken. <laughs> then I feel I need to add a little bit of veg, which I didn't think I would be doing, but I want some color in there. Yeah, this color is pretty much the same color as the pepperoni and the piri chicken. But it is what it is. Excuse me, get the, get. This ain't my cat. Wow, into the microphone. Hello? Stop sniffing, get. It's an expensive cat. It's one of them rare breeds. And if you don't shut up, I'm gonna sell you to pay rent. We you... you smelt my pizza, innit? I don't blame ya. Yeah, see you later. Alright, now some actual colour. Couple of leaves. Because why not? Ooh! Look at that. We're gonna get that in the oven. No idea what temperature to cook it on or how long for, so I'm just gonna keep my eyes on it until it melts. Can't be that hard, can it? Woo! Come on! Looks alright. You might have seen these skinny sauces about. Uh, they all taste like absolute crap in my experience. Barbecue one is edible, but I haven't actually tried the garlic and herb. Did you know those little garlic and herb pots? You know, like you get with a Domino's uh, pizza or whatever. 600 calories for the bigger pot. 600 calories! What are you putting in them? And then when you think the pizza's like 2,000, plus your sides, easy, easy 3,500 calorie uh, takeaway. That's actually their best one, I'll say. That is actually their best one. Garlic and herb, skinny sauce. Woo! Look at that. Yes! Please taste good. I'll try on its own first. Certified. Certified. This is what I'm eating for the next year. However, the macros on the screen. Nearly 600 calories for 45 grams of protein. Bit high in calories, but the protein content, content is there. The flavor is definitely there. I'm actually well chuffed. Hopefully this leaves me feeling full as well. Best thing I've made in a whole cut situation, is it? Not sure, definitely best thing I've made this week. Possibly the whole series. Mmm, banging. Let me eat this in peace, innit? actually got next door today an early Krav, now I can't say this in it, is it Krav Magar? Krav Magar, Krav Magar, Krav Magar class going on next door, run by a big scary Polish man, and when he comes towards you, it's like being hit by a train, Bartosz his name is, he's currently educating young females on how to defend themselves, let's go disturb them.
morning, week four, day seven, Sunday, last day of week four. Weighed this morning, a little bit of weight loss, 168 pounds. We're still up from where we started, but we're on our way down. So, I'm absolutely exhausted. I gave up caffeine this week because I was a bit of a caffeine monster. As in, I will happily neck three monsters a day plus three coffees. Uh, I haven't had any like withdrawal symptoms. I'm just knackered. <laughs> I would have usually had two black coffees and a monster by now. What time is it? 10 o'clock. <laughs> um, but today we are making, I've been making, have a look at these. Little 10 yard teas. Um, I've got some stock in, so I will be basically cutting out the vinyl and printing it, not printing it, sticking it to the t-shirts. They're going to be up for sale. I've already sold four, so I've got to make those four. Sold them before I even had the stock, which is wicked. Thank you to the people that have already purchased. I'm going to try and make a little shop online so you can easily purchase for the three more people that might purchase some t-shirts in it. <laughs> Talking like I'm Alpha Lee or something. Uh, or Ben Francis. But that's what I'll be doing today. Uh, as it's Sunday, I thought I'd treat myself to a cooked breakfast that I'm going to cook. But I'm still craving my old brown and raisins. I'd say energy levels past two days have been sh the lowest they've been. But I don't know if that's because the calories have been consistently low. So my carb intake has been a bit lower, well, the lowest I'm, I've ever done. Even though it's still like 180 odd grams. It's low for me. That used to be my breakfast. Or the fact I've given up caffeine at the same time. I just don't know. But yeah, things are a struggle. Gym sessions. Actually, do you know what? Started, um, I don't even know if I've mentioned this in a previous clip because I'm lost where I am in the days. Started uh, taking two Rice Krispie Squares, taking, like they're drugs, eating two Rice Krispie Squares before, immediately before my gym sessions. The pump is unbelievable. Before I'd just have like a Monster or a coffee. Uh, but getting some carbohydrates in, well, it's not rocket science. Obviously you're gonna be more pumped and fuller. But I've never really played with it before. And yeah, incredible sessions. <sighs> What am I yawning? It's 10 a.m. Let's get this breakfast on the go. Let's get these t-shirts made. Here we are, back in the kitchen where I've been seemingly for four weeks. Uh, I'm actually getting sick of editing clips in this room and it's boring, I apologize. Little quick breakfast, chicken chipolatas, they're delicious. Some bacon, who doesn't like bacon? And I'm really upset because I've been craving beans of these lots of fake Heinz beans. But they're 200 calories for half a can. But we're gonna do it anyway. It's Sunday. This, I, I stayed out last night um, and took some protein with me so I could have a protein shake before I went to bed. Protein works. What is this flavor? Chocolate silk. Literally the worst tasting protein I've ever had. In fact, it's going in the bin. I will never ever be consuming your product again. Disgusting. Let's get this off. Boom, and there we have it. A little cooked breakfast for a Sunday treat. Comes in at 470 calories and 43 grams of protein. But it's on the screen for you anyway, isn't it? So you probably already knew that. Um, could have gone Weatherspoons, paid four pound, and it would have come in at less calories. So a um, little lesson to be learnt there, maybe. I know what I'm forgetting. You drink. Now I said earlier I've given up caffeine, that's in the form of coffee, Coca-Cola, Monsters, whatever, going cold turkey. Reason being, I did some research, had a look on Google and I've seen conflicting opinions on something that actually might affect me. So essentially I get my bloods done every year, once a year, just out of curiosity. It's not too expensive, you pay between like 60 and 100 pound, 
uh, which if it identifies something seriously wrong and you catch it early, I think that's a great investment. I don't think that's expensive at all. I just do it out of curiosity. Luckily, I haven't found anything serious in the two uh, results I've got, apart from my testosterone level on both was scraping the bare minimum. Now, because I'm scraping the bare minimum, I'm not suitable for the old TRT uh, in England, and I don't really want to buy some dodgy gear off Dave around the corner and start self-medicating because he probably mixed it in his bathtub. So, did some research. Now, I drink a lot of caffeine, or did. When you drink a lot of caffeine, your adrenal glands produce adrenaline to give you the buzz, and then your body in response also produces cortisol. Now, there's some studies out there that show that high cortisol levels um, obviously eat your muscle mass, it's um, the stress hormone, and in turn decreases your testosterone levels. However, there's also studies out there saying that caffeine intake increases your testosterone levels. So, which one is it? When there's too many conflicts and opinions, it's easier just to, for me to quit caffeine, make that change, then get my blood started in like three, maybe four months. I don't know how long it takes for things to change, but just make it up as we go along. And then it don't matter what the studies say, because if I quit caffeine and my test levels go up, we're sweet. I mean, they've been consistently low for at least a year between the two tests, so this is the one change I'm making. Decaf Coca-Cola. I'll keep you updated on that. When I get my next test done, I'll make a little video on it and show you my old test results, show you my new ones. Hopefully, there's an increase. Come on, he's not in the kitchen. No, he's not. Uh, we're actually gonna make some t-shirts. I made this the other day, but I've gone off the design already. These remind me of just white nipples on the top for some reason. So, got some new blanks in. I've done some designs, but I can't decide. I've got three different designs. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna do one of them. Let me show you. And after many minutes of weeding, this is what we've got. I, as I thought, absolutely love this one. It just takes three times as long to do because you have to weed the middle out. Whereas that, you just pull off and it's done. Yeah, so, old design. I actually hate it now looking at it. I was well in love with it when I first did it. Uh, same thing will probably happen to this one, but this one, yeah, I'm feeling this one. Let's get that pressed on. I'll show you how we do that and then we'll have a finished article. Right, welcome to my grot box of an office, where I try and make millions every year. But here I am, making t-shirts. Uh, right, what you need to do, get yourself a heat press. It's currently at 150 degrees, it's very hot, be careful. And then you need a ruler. This one's a big one, but the zero on the ruler needs to be in the middle. And then you're gonna find the middle of your t-shirt. Stop beeping. Enough of that. Find the middle of your t shirt, make sure your sleeves are the same distance to find your center point. Are you with me? Then you want to grab your design and we need to find the middle of the design. So, easiest way to do that is to fold it in half. So, you just fold it so your design meets the edge there and meets the edge there, and then you should be sweet to crimp the edges of the plastic with your fingers. Give yourself a little crease in there that you can refer back to. And one on the top. Just pinch it. Now you've got your pinch lines. Don't know if you'll see these on camera. Pinch lines in the plastic. Line up your zero. Like that. And now the rule uh, to get your design in the right area on the chest is a three finger rule. It's different from the one your girlfriend does, but you want your design roughly three fingers from the collar. Measure twice, press once. Perfect. Now all you've got to do is press it on 150 for about 15 seconds. And then the magic happens. Mm -hmm. 
powder. Take it off. I like to give it a little bit of air. And then we hot peel it. And there you have. The printed tea looks fresh. I love it. Yeah, that's actually sick. That's the design, 100%. Turn it off. Now we've just got to go print a million of them uh, for all the pre-orders I'm bound to get. After hours of weeding out bits of vinyl, I'm done. I've got stacks of designs. Well, my design that is going on the t-shirts. And then the first person to order requested a custom design on the back. So I obliged. And we've got his custom logo going on the back, just below the neck for the light shirts, for the dark shirts. I'm gonna print them all up tomorrow because it is beyond bedtime. What is it, gone 10 o'clock? And I've gotta be up at half five for more clients. So that's tomorrow's job, printing more t-shirts. I've got about 150 calories left. I'm gonna use them because tomorrow, tomorrow's the start of week five. Jesus, it's going quick and I don't really want to lower my calories, so I said I was going to do cardio this week and I avoided it. <laughs> I don't think I can avoid it anymore. I'm going to have to do some form of cardio, which I'm not too happy about. So you'll see me tomorrow, maybe on a treadmill. I don't know. Um, I'm well not happy about it. Just thinking about it, it's horrific. But anyway, waffling. Good night, I'll see you in week five.